are the preseason pick to win the Missouri Valley Conference. The Salukis of Southern Illinois. 2005 brings them a new head coach in Chris Lowry. Uh, we better be prepared because the way they play is not. Back at SIU Arena. Happy New Year, everybody, along the NBC Television Network. Charlie Spoonauer, Dan McLaughlin with you for a holiday crowd. It is packed. Tom Davis, Dr. Tom Davis, took a four-year break, retired from coaching, got out of the business, and all of a sudden he was on the golf course, got a phone call. He said, I'm going to get back in this business, and here he is, second year at the helm with Drake. Let's take a look at his lineup. It's brought to you by Bud Light. We talked about Clayton Corver in the open. Very good three-point shooter, along with Eggers, then Keita, Tracy, and Sean Brooks. Meanwhile, the starting lineup for Southern Illinois, Lamar Owen. He's been around for a while, along with Josh Warren, a senior, Darren Aaron Brooks, the player of the year, Jamal Tatum out of Jefferson City, and then Stetson Hairston, only 23 points shy of 1,000 in his career. He's the fifth youngest head coach in Division I. At the age of 32, Chris Lowry is back at Southern Illinois. A player, an assistant coach, now the head coach, 10-2 in his first season at the helm of the Salukis. Let's check out the uh, keys to the game, Charlie, brought to you by Chrysler. Obviously, Drake's going to have to handle the athleticism, and they're going to have to have also the mental toughness to handle not only the ball club, but this great crowd. For the Salukis, poise against the press, because you're going to see one or another press almost all day. And then the defensive pressure that they have to get on, particularly on guys like Corver and Eggers, because they can light it up in three. Keys to the game brought to you by Chrysler, where inspiration comes standard. Let's take a look at our series history. Brought to you by Sirius Satellite Radio with over 120 channels of commercial free music, news, talk, and sports. For the car, home, or anywhere you go, get Sirius today. Ride the big dog. And the Salukis have dominated this series, in particular here at home, 26-4 and four against Drake at SIU Arena. They have a 10-game winning streak right now against the Drake Bulldogs. And uh, for Drake to win this game, it would be a monumental upset if they did. Well, it's, it's an upset, but the thing that you have to think about if you're Drake Somebody's eventually going to win in here. <laughs> and why not let it be us? You can almost relax and just play. Drake's already got a road win this year, so that's something that's important. You're going to find, I think, during the course of this year, Dan, that road wins are going to be hard to come by, much harder than in the past. Eight of ten conference teams with 500 or better records in the Missouri Valley Conference. That's what you're talking about. Great non-conference record for the NBC. But then, hey, as this league has been elevated, they get into conference play. All of a sudden, they're beating up on each other. That is the that's the catch-22 of this whole thing. While everyone's so excited right now about the great non-conference wins, now you're going to start playing against each other, and it's going to be very, very difficult for anybody to be 16, 2, 15, and 3. There's going to be some people have trouble. No question on the road. Southern Illinois, a record of 10 and 2, 1 and 0 in conference play. The Drake Bulldogs under 500 at 4 and 5, a record of 1 and 1. Last year they were 12 and 16 overall, and Southern Illinois went to the NCAA tournament. They were 22 and 5, only one loss in conference play in the regular season. That was at Northern Iowa in the final week of the regular season. As always, folks, we hope you enjoy it on the NBC Television Network. And the tip is controlled by the home team, the Salukis of Southern Illinois. Drake in a zone to start this ball game. They'll change defenses as the day goes along. It'll be interesting to see all the different things with Wilson. Tatum inside to Warren, working on the block, kicks it back out to Brooks. The player of the year is on the board, and here come the Salukis. You probably see man defensive pressure here. I believe that was a box and one on the other end with uh, with man coverage on uh, Tatum. Very good three-point shooter, one of the best percentage-wise in the history of this school, only a sophomore. This is Brooks in the lane, trying to force it inside. Thought about the three. The lefty off the glass trying to tie it up. Loose basketball on the floor. It is tied up. Still loose. Still loose, and Southern comes away with it. This is Hairston. Pulls it back. Tatum wide open. Left side. Five to nothing Salukis, and that's what you're talking about. Well, if that was a box and one, the one got lost. Right. I can tell you. And there you see the man pressure right here. And if this crowd gets in the game, then it's going to be it's going to be tough to win. Jamal Tatum with 25 threes now with that make. That's tops on the team. 
you'll see a lot of motion and, and people changing places. The main idea is to get the ball inside to the big fella and see if he can score on the interior. There's Corver and he is fouled by Lamar Owen. Lamar Owen, an interesting story for Southern Illinois. He played at Southeastern Illinois College, Junior College All-American. How about this record? Then he comes to Southern, and he's 96 and 15 on every team he's played for in college. And that's Corver with the miss on the baseline. Whistle away from the basketball. That'll go against Drake. Sean Tracy whistled for the foul, the first personal foul, first team foul against the Bulldogs. Corver got an open look off the bounds play right then, and I'm sure that uh, Coach Lowry is going to try to make an adjustment there because if he gets open looks, he's going to get baskets. Just underway, five to nothing, Southern Illinois. Clayton Corver, familiar look. Here's the press. This is more of a 1 2 1 1 or a 1 2 2, three quarter court. The traps will come right at the half court area if things go well. Tatum breaks the pressure easily. Now to Brooks. They are following Tatum. Ten on the shot clock for Southern Illinois. Brooks from the head of the key. Off the mark, Warren. Heads up plays. He tipped it to Tatum and a fresh 35. Hairston got it stripped. Quick hands inside by Tracy. Drake's got some numbers. Can they finish? They will. The left hand by Pete Eggers, who averages 13 a game for Drake. And that's what Drake needs. They've got to find a way to get some baskets other than against a set defense. And that's exactly what you want to try to do is get some run outs after Steve. Warren inside, backing his man in, but got it blocked. Loose basketball on the floor. And it's going to be Drake basketball. Stay around at halftime for the Cardinal Glennon halftime report. Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital, where our love for kids just keeps on growing. We've had two or three already scrums. That's what I think is going to be the tempo of the game, and the effort's going to be there by both teams because the ball goes on the floor. You're going to have people after it. One thing that Dr. Tom will do is uh, multiple substitutions. Charlie, they'll go 9-10 deep. Bancroft's already in for Keita. Bancroft's father played at Southwest Missouri State when I was an assistant there. That's a while ago. <laughs> Sorry to remind you. <laughs> the shot right side from Corver. His second miss. Loose basketball. Drake has got it. Inside the easy two, and it's five to four. Southern Illinois. Corver with his first two. And Drake's got to feel good here because there was the beginning of a little run. And you've got to keep the runs from coming. That's that's where Southern takes people out when they put ten and eight point runs together. Here's Darren Brooks on the baseline. Warren trying to back in his man. He did, but they didn't feed it inside. Ten on the shot clock now for Tatum. Southern Illinois has been very patient early on. Brooks trying to get it inside. It's knocked away by Corver. Drake's going to come away with the basketball. Ran the clock all the way down and didn't get a shot. Tracy, great look inside. Drake. Trying to take the lead for the first time today. Bancroft missed it and then fouled his man Warren. Kind of a double double mistake there. You've got a ball that deep. You've got to go up strong and draw the foul. And then that and then the worst thing you can do is foul 94 feet away. I mean, the guy isn't going to shoot it from there. Randall Falker checks in for Southern Illinois and uh, young man that we highlighted in our open Lonnie Randolph for the Drake Bulldogs. Coach, he wasn't in the starting lineup, but uh, in this ball game in the first four minutes. I think we figured that probably the first horn honk we'd see him. It, I, this was not a punishment or anything. This was just a, a coaching ploy. Tatum. Cross court pass. Hairston for three, and he's got it. I've seen him do that a lot when he was at Belleville. We watched him play a bunch. He is 20 points shy of a thousand in his career. Corver the travel. Southern Illinois shooting three of five early on. Hairston with his first points of this afternoon. Saluki's 8-4 at home. Pretty much the start we anticipated, Coach. 
Well, I, I think you're going to see Drake's not going to not going to back it in. They're going to get after it. And they're going to be competitive as long as they can make some shots. Hairston left side. Outs Tatum. He's already hit a three. Going to whistle away from the basket. I believe it was three seconds called. Three seconds called on Falker, and that's that's a shame because he's really not doing anything. He's just standing over there watching. Mm -hmm. Looks in the front court to Leonard Houston. His first touch of this ball game to Heem Skirt. His first touch. Like we said, they'll go about ten deep. Here's Lonnie Randolph. 15 on the shot clock. Randolph gets it back. He is quick in the lane. Good ball movement here by Drake, but a missed shot on the baseline. Pulled away by Hairston. Now to Tatum. Good look to Falker. Beautiful pass. Beautiful pass. And people are excited about the man on the receiving end of that pass. Randall Falker, only a freshman at 6'7". Great pass from Tatum. Right. Randolph around Tatum, but couldn't finish. And a foul inside against uh, Drake, it looks like. Here's the ball pushed up the floor. And look at Tatum. He's, he makes him come to him because he's a threat to shoot the ball. Falker just runs the court, runs right down the middle, and gets the basket. Luke Keita was whistled for that foul. Gets the Bulldogs. I think right now, the pressure that uh, Southern's putting on has got Drake playing at a pace that's a little faster than what they want. It's almost like hot potato. They're trying to get the ball inside, but it's difficult to do. 10 to 4, Salukis. First half action, NBC Game of the Week presented by State Farm. Southern Illinois has been very, very patient in the first six minutes of this game. Zone matching up right here. Freshman mistake. Illegal screen right here. Looking for the season's hottest styles. Aeropo Style provides the hottest athletically inspired clothes for guys and girls. For store locations, visit their website at aeroposstyle.com. That's A-E-R-O-P-O-S-T-A-L-E.com. Aeropo Style, proud sponsor to the Missouri Valley Conference. Did you get all those letters? No. <laughs> At least you're honest. <laughs> Back to the Salukis. Here's Tatum. Working inside. Missed the shot. And it's pulled away by the Bulldogs. Bancroft the rebound. Randolph. Double dribble. Back to Southern Illinois. Randolph right now is, is going at a pace that's not going to be productive for him. They've got him trying to do things so quickly, and uh, that's two turnovers in a row, and you don't, you can't afford that when you're playing against a team like Southern Illinois. Full court pressure again by Drake. That pressure was more of the variety to try to get a steal. The right. other one was more just to make you use time. This is Tony Young with the basketball, only a sophomore. Tatum inside to Falker. Can't finish on the other end. Corver pulls it away. Are you kidding me? Randolph from the elbow rattles in. 10 to 6. And after makes, Dr. Tom Davis telling us before the game all kinds of variations of their full court pressure. They'll change, they'll change press and see which is the more effective. They chart that, and then they'll use the one in the second half that's been the best to them. Brooks around two defenders. Nicely done. Out of control are the Bulldogs. Tracy a turnover. Back to Southern Illinois. Here's Young in the front court for the Salukis. Almost a travel by Young, now to Tatum. 15 on the shot clock. In the corner to Brooks. The player of the year inside the arc. He's feeling it, Darren Brooks. Better get a hand up on him. 
He's tough, isn't he, Coach? He's a good player. And he's so much under control. That time, even though the clock was running down, he just he didn't let it bother him. A hold there on Young as Randolph was trying to get by his man. And we step aside with 11.50 to play here in our first half from SIU Arena, the NBC Game of the Week, presented by State Farm, Southern Illinois, with a lead of eight. NBC Game of the Week presented by State Farm, Southern Illinois, a lead of 14-6. The reigning player of the year is Darren Brooks. He's 3 of 4 already this afternoon, Charlie, and showing us a little bit of everything in his game. Inside out on this first jumper, he got it in the standing position. Here against the zone, gets a screen, and then just drives through it. Completely under control, and here as the possession runs down, shoots her in again. Korver, right side, buries the three. He can shoot Clayton Korver back to live action. 14-9, Southern Illinois. Korver now at five. That's the way life is. Korver hits that shot and he's guarded. He's had two open shots, two good looks that he missed. It's 363 straight games in which Drake has made a three-point basket. Hairston thought about the three. He's got one already. Hairston for three, no. Falker kept it alive, but it's pulled away, uh, pulled away by Chris Bryant. Quick hands, Hairston inside, the lefty off the glass. That's just carelessness right there, and that cost Drake. That's, you have to be able to do things like get the ball up the floor. Three right side, no good. An air ball pulled away by Falker. Here come the Salukis, Hairston. Stepping on the line was Tony Young. 10.49 to go, first half. I doubt that Eggers will shoot very, very many more threes. Here we go with the <laughs> rebound. Hairston just doesn't run back. He just stays in the passing lane and gets and strong enough to finish it up right there. Full court pressure shown here by Southern Illinois. Well, this is the time to try to make hay. You've got Brooks on the bench, so. Eggers on the baseline around his man. Steps through another defensive player but misses the shot. It's been a struggle so far for Eggers who averages 13 a game. He's had hard shots, Dan. He's been guarded on everything he's taken. Inside, Falker, the freshman with the left hand. Won't drop. Fundamentally a good play. Though. Meet the Falkers. Good movie out right now. Coming off the screen is Bryant, head of the key, trying to hit it off the glass. Nothing's falling for Drake. Young inside the arc, hits it down. Tony Young, by the way, swollen eye, caught an elbow in the face uh, yesterday in practice, but quality minutes already today. Brought the ball down then, no one picks up the ball for Drake, and uh, that's where your problem arises. You're seeing motion here. Finally, good spacing by Drake. They got the ball in and then out. Over the miss. Falker's got it. They've got numbers. Young in the front court. Just about a step out of his reach. Stay tuned for the Cardinal Glennon Children's Halftime Report. Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital, where our love for kids just keeps on growing. Nice round of applause as uh, Falker will have a seat. The leading score off the bench for the Salukis. And again, as I mentioned before, only a freshman out of St. Louis. They had some young talent to go along with the veteran club. And what makes the Salukis, Charlie, in my opinion, such a unique story in college basketball, undefeated at home with these conference championships with three different coaches the last three years. Well, you're right. That is almost amazing. Bruce Weber, Matt Painter, and now, of course, Chris Lowry. Bruce Weber's got the number one team in the country at Illinois. Matt Painter will take over Purdue next year for Gene Cady. Well, they're all from the same family tree, so there hadn't been a great deal of change. The ideas defensively and offensively are pretty constant. Yep. Warren inside. Great catch and the finish. Sealed his man. He's got a big body. He makes it hard to get around. Randolph stepping through the defense, and it drops home. Lonnie Randolph. Got a friendly roll on that one. Drake hanging around so far. It's 2013, under eight and a half to play first half. 
is Mike Dale, only a sophomore. Tried to force it inside to Foster, hit out of bounds. The quick hands there by Leonard Houston. Here's the seal right here. You're going to see the ball. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is we're going to show Drake first. Nice interior pass and finished by Corver, I believe. Salukis with 19 on the shot clock. We'll get the inbound in. Lamar Owen, he's been quiet so far. Off the inbound, a screen sets up that shot, but Young missed everything. Salukis, they'll keep it. Hairston, five on the shot clock. Owen on the baseline, he'll let her fly. No good. Hairston picks up the loose basketball. Fresh 35 for Southern Illinois. Good job of fighting the boards right there. Drake had two people on the board but just didn't secure the ball. Warren again trying to seal his man inside like we talked about earlier. Charlie. He's got him again. There it is. Warren inside. Kicks it out. Young for three. Kept alive by Warren. Good hands inside. Dale will try it for three. No good. Oh, and the tip inside. That kills you if you're great. That's, that's too many opportunities. You can't allow that. These fans applauding the effort. The offensive rebounds for Southern Illinois. Harrison may be a little bit thinking, well, I'll just take this game right on out. Sure. The offensive rebounds, the story of that last possession for the Salukis, the tip by Owen. Former soccer player in Kentucky, 22-13 Salukis. Charlie Spoonauer, Dan McLaughlin with you. 22-13 at our NBC Game of the Week, presented by State Farm. Take a look at the NBC standings brought to you by Edward Jones. More than 130 years of experience helping individuals build financial security. Edward Jones. And really, Charlie, when you look at these teams in the Valley, there is no clear-cut favorite. Now, Southern Illinois predicted to win again the conference, but a lot of people look towards Wichita State. Illinois State off to a great start. You know that at Creighton, they're going to get things going. So there's really no clear-cut favorite right now to win this the, the, the conference. Well, Bradley's had good non-conference wins. I saw Southwest Missouri's game against Oklahoma at OU, and they played Oklahoma all the way to the wire. So they're pretty doggone good also. You're watching Drake in Southern Illinois, Dan McLaughlin, Charlie Spoonauer, our Metro Sports crew. That's a good finish underneath by Lonnie Randolph. And that's the best he has done in terms of being under control, too. That was good, I thought. Really good. Randolph with four. Drake down by seven. Tatum. Hit off the foot of Randolph, so a reset of the shot clock at 35 for Southern Illinois. They have handled this pressure very well by Drake. And checking back in the game will be Tony Young, the sophomore, replacing Stetson Hairston. Tatum that time dribbled the ball exactly where the defense wanted him to go. If you come across the half and go towards the corners, you're in real trouble. Patience has been a key for the Saluki so far offensively. Not forcing a lot of shots. Offensive rebounds as well. Leading score is Darren Brooks with six points. Salukis are shooting 50%. A lot of people playing for both teams. It's hard for anybody to get a, a high number. Right. Tatum, foot on the line, rattles out. Randolph pulls it away for Drake. And they want to run. Eggers inside, double team, looking for help. Randolph is there inside the arc. No good, and it's a loose basketball on the floor. A jump basketball that will stay with the Drake. Possession arrow in favor of the Bulldogs. What we saw then was a pass. Eggers tried to get something on his own, couldn't, and then threw the ball out of the post area for, for a two or a three. That's something that Salukis have done. If more players understood that if you threw the ball to your center and if you could get him to throw it back, then you've got something going offensively. SIU with uh, 13 rebounds, out rebounding. Drake 13-7 so far in this game.
Nice play. Randolph, though, triple team looking for help. Has it in Tracy. Kick it out. The lefty Eggers knocks it down from 15. That's anytime you get the ball into the interior, draw the defense to you. If you throw it out, you're going to get open look. The only thing that Drake hasn't been able to do is establish a pivot now. Dr. Tom Davis has been doing this for years. And he coach, I mean, we're talking to him before the game. Started as a high school coach back in 1960. At Iowa, he ran this type of uh, offense and defense, full court pressure. How many times did you go head to head with Dr. Tom? Never did. Really? No, we All managed. those years and never did. Never did. Very nice man, having a chance to visit with him prior to the game. He said he was on the golf course in Palm Springs playing a little golf with Hayden Fry, and all of a sudden, Drake gives him the call, and he says, Well, let me sleep on it. And here he is in his second season with the Bulldogs. I think it's great for the conference, too, to have a name coach like Dr. Tom Davis. Trying to turn around Drake. His kids will always play hard. That's been consistent. You saw them at Boston College, Stanford, Lafayette, wherever, Iowa. They always play. Eggers off a pick. Five on the shot clock. Randolph in the lane. Won't drop. Warren pulls it away. Owen almost falling out of bounds kept it alive to Brooks who has six look at Darren Brooks step through the defense and almost complete that you're seeing a guy in Brooks that understands his own abilities and what he can do and he lets the game come to him he doesn't force things and when he takes the ball at the basket as you see here he doesn't go crazy he goes under control and he's strong enough when he gets there he got hit by a very large young man and he still gets the ball on the rim. 81% free throw shooter. That's another reason that Brooks can get the point totals that he does. He's shooting very well from the field at 51%, but he gets to the line an awful lot. He does everything. He's complete. He defends. He rebounds. He gives the ball up. He's very unselfish. He's just a good ball player. One of two from the free throw line. Culver picks up the miss. Stolen away. Brooks anticipated that. It's a good job of pushing the ball down the floor by Drake, and they really had something, and then all of a sudden it's taken away. Brooks thought about the three in the corner. It goes to Tatum for three. Here's Randolph for the Drake Bulldogs. Corver, nice pass. And off the glass is Nick Grant, the 6'3 sophomore. Just starting to get back in the flow of things. Grant had a broken foot in preseason. Kept him out of about six games, and now he's back in the flow. I thought Corver giving the ball up there really made that a good play. A rare mistake by Brooks there, Coach. And there comes Drake again. They push the ball down the side, run a man to the block. They do a great job of that. 23-19. Drake right back in this game on the road. From the corner, no good. Back to the Saluki. And we step aside for another timeout. Southern Illinois, 42 and 19 overall against Drake. They've had sweeps over Drake the last five years. On top by four early on. Illinois State at UNI, 7 o'clock. Uh, Valley Television rolls on, presented by State Farm. Drake. Only down by four. Three minutes to play first half. Sown this time by Drake. Yep. There's Tatum looking inside to Shaw. Now it's Hairston. Under 10 on the shot clock. Tatum looking for help. Double team to Brooks. He lost it. Hairston got it back in, hits it at the buzzer, just beat it. If you're Drake, a play like that kills you because you had a busted play at the end of a buzzer, and then the guy nails a three on you. Hairston hits the three. And it looked like Drake was off to the races. Boy, the pass was there. They just couldn't complete it. Pass was right there. Everything was good about that except the finish of it, and then you get a foul, which there have not been very many of in this ballgame. Very few free throws, very few fouls. 26-19, that is a backbreaker, isn't it? Because it looked like Drake had the steal, too, and two points. 
It's almost like a five-point swing. It is. That's exactly what it is. When you when you really break it down, you, you defend as well as Drake did and work as hard as they did to defend, and then you end up giving up a three and then turn it over on a good pass. 219 to play first half. There's Tatum to Hairston. Here's Shaw. 15 footer on the baseline, no good. Pulled away by Drake. Bulldogs have got it. Brooks hanging and in the pass, but a travel prior to that by Alou Kida. Kida has not had many touches, and nope. he's had, just hasn't had it. And then he finally gets a great chance to score. And you know, you get so excited about it when you finally see it. it's like seeing a good meal showing up. <laughs> The shuffle by Keaton. Back to the Salukis. Turnovers. Drink with nine. Southern Illinois with eight. 26 19. People may wonder why Drake runs a press like that. It runs time off the clock, and now Southern's got 20 seconds to play instead of having 30. Get out of bounds. 134 to go, 10 on the shot clock. 26-19, Southern Illinois. Here's Tim will inbound for the Salukis. Here's Brooks off the inbound. Got it blocked. And Corver's got it for Drake. And the Bulldogs want a timeout with 126 to go here in our first half. Reminder, tomorrow night we'll be in Northern Iowa, Illinois State, one of the surprising teams so far. The Missouri Valley Conference will take on Northern Iowa. Northern Iowa, by the way, the only team to knock off the Salukis last year in regular season play. Of course, they made it to the field of 64. So we'll be at Northern Iowa tomorrow night. Sagarin rankings, the NBC Conference. How about that? Southern Illinois, 33. Our team on display today, Wichita State, UNI, SMS, and Bradley all in the top 60. NBC has a conference wins over Providence, Vanderbilt, DePaul, and Xavier. Only five conferences own better non-league winning percentages than the NBC. It's been that kind of start to their season. But as Charlie and I were talking about before, they'll beat up on each other here in conference play. Stepping through the defense for the easy two is Sean, Sean Brooks. And that's exactly what you can't have happen to you if you're Southern Illinois. You're wanting to get out of this first half with a little more of a cushion. You play like that kills you. Under a minute to go. Tatum for the Salukis. Hairston on the wing. Gives it up to Shaw. Back to Hairston inside the arc. Had the look. Good knock it down. There's a difference of about two seconds from the shot clock and the game clock. Brooks whistled for the foul. And Drake has made a nice showing here, Coach. Very nice showing on the road so far. They've got to be pleased with this. They haven't had much luck at establishing a, the inside at all. And they still find themselves five behind, and they're probably going to get the last shot here if things go as, as they would prefer. Shot clock is off, so 34.2 remaining here in the first half. This is Sean Tracy, the junior from Silver Springs, Maryland. To Eggers. Drake wants to play for that last shot. To Brooks. Back to Tracy. Under 20 now here in our first half. Randolph trying to break down Tatum. Crossover trying to find a pick. Eggers. Four. Contact. No foul. And that's how the first half is going to end. Couldn't get the shot away. 26-21 in favor of Southern Illinois. Remember, they went 9-0 the last three years at home in conference play. Southern shoots 11 of 26 in the first half, 42%. Meanwhile, on the road for Dr. Tom Davis, 10 of 23, 44% for the Drake Bulldogs. 
So Dr. Tom will go in after 20 minutes of play, and I'm sure he has to be very pleased. Only down at home, 26-21. They have not won the last 10 meetings against Southern Illinois. Chris Lowry in his first year at Southern Illinois, and he's standing by with Coach Spoon. Coach? Chris, well, the first half, you've got a five-point lead. What can you do to get away from these guys? They're hanging in pretty good. We've got to have quicker motion. I mean, quicker ball reversals. We're not getting into gaps. We're just passing around the horn and selling for threes. Not really looking to get our big guys inside, and a couple times we've missed them. Thanks for stopping by, Chris. Thank you. All right, Spoon, thanks. Let's check the uh, Mercy Health plans for the second half. We'll do that with highlights and scores. Mercy Health plans providing innovative health coverage that empowers members to take responsibility for their health. Visit MercyHealthPlans.com. Entertaining first half. You're watching the Missouri Valley Conference. Game of the Week presented by State Farm. 26-21 Southern Illinois, the preseason favorite to win the conference. Opening up a conference play already with one win. Charlie Spoonhour, Dan McLaughlin, great to have you with us. And uh, thank you very much for our stats. <laughs> it's live television. What the heck? But, uh, you know, you're, you're down by five if you're Drake and you're saying, hey, why not us? Why not let us be the one to knock off Southern Illinois? And I'm sure in the other locker room where they have a lead, it's probably a little bit different scene, too. They're probably in a, in a very more uh, an animated uh, yeah. discussion in there about basketball. But th the truth of the matter, both teams have played really hard. Dan, it hasn't been the most beautiful game ever played, but the effort's there. Absolutely. So Drake on the road, down by five. Today's O'Reilly Auto Parts Millennium Moment highlights the first Missouri Valley Conference Tournament in 1977. Competing at Levitt Arena in Wichita, Kansas, Southern Illinois, led by 1977 Valley Player of the Year, Mike Glenn, led Maurice Cheeks in West Texas State by a point at the half. Glenn, a two-time first-team academic All-American, scored 24 as the Salukis posted an 82-69 win for today's O'Reilly Auto Parts Millennium Moment. back at SIU Arena in Carbondale. This is the Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital Halftime Report. Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital, where our love for kids just keeps on growing. Halftime score, 26-21. More to come in just a moment. Today's ConAgra Foods Where Are They Now spotlight shines on Southern Illinois' Troy Hudson. In his third season with the Minnesota Timberwolves, Hudson is averaging eight points a game off the bench. Hudson posted career highs in scoring and assists for Minnesota two years ago before missing most of last year with ankle problems. Hudson played for SIU from 1995 through 97. ConAgra Foods, we set America's table at home and away. Twenty six twenty one halftime rolls on. Let's check the Mercy health plans for the second half. Coach Spoon is standing by with Dr. Tom Davis. Coach, you've got to be happy with the first half. Great effort, great defense by your team. How do you get Keita and Bancroft more involved? Yeah, it's hard. I think that's where their quickness comes in. They're very good athletes. Southern Illinois is on the inside, and they're they're pretty quick too. So uh, we just they got to work a little harder. Well, thanks, Coach. Go All get them. Right. Thanks, Charlie. Mercy Health Plan providing innovative health coverage that empowers members to take responsibility for their health. Visit MercyHealthPlans.com. First half stats are brought to you by Amron. And field goal percentage, you can see on the road, Drake's shooting better at 44%. A real key, too, is the fact that uh, free throws have not been a factor in this game. Drake just one of six from three-point territory. Southern has hit three. Rebounds in favor of the Saluki. Second chance points. There you see eight to two. And then, of course, a bench scoring 10 to, as well, 10 to four as well in favor of Drake. Two main points in the halftime stats brought to you by Amron. Enlightening interview there, Coach. Good stuff. <laughs> coach Davis has done a few interviews in his time. See, as a coach, I would assume you, you just love that. You know, you got some guy ready in a microphone. You just had 20 minutes of 
Heck out there, you know, you're trying to get your team ready, and all of a sudden some guy comes up to you with a microphone. You love those kind of guys. <laughs> a little fat, gray headed guy <laughs> comes up and says, Well, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Yeah, right. <laughs> People don't understand there's another team on the floor. That's, <laughs> they won't let you do what you want to do. Now the fans enjoy it, no doubt about it. We certainly appreciate Mercy Health Plans for helping us out with those interviews. So Drake on the road, only down by five against the, what many believe to be the number one team in this conference. And I'm sure both coaches have talked about the importance of the first five minutes of the second half because that's where games are won and lost. Fans here at Southern Illinois will stand until that first point. This is Stetson Hairston, original five starting for Southern Illinois. Hairston. Coach Lowry in your interview right the, at the end of half said a lot of standing against this zone and we see that here. And the other thing is he said they settled for threes. Great pass. Oh and inside though got it blocked. And there is uh, five seconds remaining on the shot clock. Well they got the ball Southern did got the ball inside and that's what I'm sure both coaches stressed during the halftime. Lamar Owen had his shot blocked. 1929 to go. We're just underway. Second half. Five seconds on the shot clock. Inside and off the hands of Southern. And it's back to the Drake Bulldogs. So Luke Keita picked it up. And if you're Drake, that's what you want. You want to come out and establish some defense early. And now you've got to see if you can find a way to get the ball to Keita. This is Tracy. Eggers to Corver, the sophomore. Gives it up to Brooks. Corver on the wing. Inside to Eggers. He's double team looking for help. Five on the shot clock. That's a travel. We'll go back the other way. Two things were good on that possession for Drake, though. They got the ball to the interior. Even though it wasn't to Keita, they got it inside and back out. Then they had the penetration in the pass, just didn't finish the play. There's a time consuming press there, Dan. That takes 10 seconds off. Now you've only got really. 20 seconds right now to start working and if you piddle around with the ball a couple three times then you've got then panic starts to set in. Owen pops out to Tatum in the corner for Brooks. Great look to Lamar Owen. The man on the back side against the against the zone has been open on two or three occasions tonight. That was a great pass by Brooks. 28 21. Brooks for Drake trying to penetrate. He does to Eggers. This is Tracy that's knocked out of bounds. It'll go back to Southern Illinois. What a great look this was for Mr. Brooks, the player of the year. Brooks just does things the right way. Most people would see the guy closest. He sees the man two people removed. And some people don't see the one man. Tatum for three. Rattles out. Warren had a hand on it. Lost it to Keita. Here come the Bulldogs. Brooks. To Tracy. Got it partially blocked. Keita had a hand on it, got it back, and then he's fouled. And fans thought originally he was over the back, but no call. Fans occasionally will do that, <laughs> particularly when it's their guy they think is being put upon. Here's the penetration. Penetration always breaks your defense down because you have to help. They could maybe make a case there that somebody might have had a chance to go over the back. This is the first free throw attempt of the afternoon for the Drake Bulldogs. The first. Well, we haven't had a great deal of free throws by anybody. That's Southern the Illinois only shot two in the first half. This game has moved right along. It's almost like somebody's got somewhere to go. Now break down the uh, form and the free throw shooting here of Mr. Keita. Oh, well, set the ball, but then he brings it up, waves it around. There's two or three things you say not to do, and it goes in. Yep, two two. If you're Tom Davis, you say whatever it is, keep making it. Uh huh. 28-23. There's a lot of movement on the perimeter with the dribble, but there's very little getting in gaps. Tatum threw it away. The steal by Sean Tracy. Bulldogs just keep hanging around. You've got to guard all of Drake's players. That's the thing that makes this defense have to work so hard because everybody can step up and shoot it. Everybody can put it on the floor a little bit. Under 15 on the shot clock. Eggers hands it off to Corver. He can really shoot it. 
Fans applauding the effort defensively. It'll get Owen there with a body foul. And Eggers got to use his left hand. He went to his strong hand that time. And that the foul that's called is point of emphasis. If you have hands or contact when a man's dribbling, that's supposed to be a foul, and it was. One point, Southern Illinois led by nine in this game. That's been the largest lead. Off the inbound, Corver leaning in, no call. They're letting him play. Drake retains the basketball. Out of bounds plays have been good for Corver. He hadn't made a basket yet. Look at that, and a chance at a three point play. Wow, what a play there for Nick Grant of the Bulldogs. Just threw it up there, and it found the bottom of the net. You've got to be fairly strong to do this. Good help right here. And then, and then the hit across the arms, and the ball still goes in the basket. And a timeout taken now by Chris Lowry in Southern Illinois. When we come back, Nick Grant has a chance to complete the three-point play. They're on the road and a chance to pull within two as well with 16.50 to play. The NBC presented by State Farm. Back at SIU Arena, 28-25, Southern Illinois with a lead of three. Let's take a look at the Marshall Wireless call of the game. Marshall Wireless, your communications consultant. Marshall Wireless now proudly carries Singular Wireless. Our thanks to Dan Marshall and Marshall Wireless providing us with uh, our play and our call of the game so far, Mr. Brooks. Well, we mentioned it earlier, but probably is worth repeating. He saw a man, two people removed. Most guys can only look and see one thing. Still a three-point lead for Southern Illinois. Warren picked up the miss. To put it in perspective, Drake is hanging around. Southern Illinois, Charlie, has the fourth longest MDC home winning streak since 1970. On the line today, 28 straight. They're 9-0 the last three seasons, by the way, at home in conference play. Almost threw it away. The last time they lost, February 24th of 2001, beaten by Evansville. Tatum for three, no. Pulled away by Drake. Strong rebound by Heemster. Well, if you're Drake, this is exactly the type of basketball game you want. A jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of Drake. You talked about the first five minutes being a key, and so far you'd have to give the edge right now to Drake. At this point, Drake has cut into the lead. All you're trying to do when you're on the road is hang around. You want to just be present at the end to have a chance to win. And it looks as though the way the game is being played right now, Drake's got a good chance to do that. And being at this arena, it is packed here today. The crowd has not been a factor, so you're on the road. You're trying to kind of muck it up, make it an ugly game, make sure the crowd doesn't get into it. And that's exactly what they've done. They've done a great job of that. Randolph looking for the open man. Now gets it back, and they're going to set up the offense. There's only been a couple of minor runs, little runs by SIU, and that's the thing that's made this, this crowd just sit on their hands. Right. Good look inside. The easy two for Heemskirk. Great pass. The Drake bench is up off their feet. It's 28-27. Salukis, though, have some numbers here. Oh, and the easy two. And one of the first times, maybe the first time, that SIU's been able to get something going on the break against the press. And then look at the nice defensive play after the basket. A turnover there by Drake, and we step aside. 6,000 strong. They're ready to get something going here at SIU Arena. It's 30-27. Charlie, does that look like a happy camper here at SIU Arena? Well, I think that if we get a couple more layups, I think probably he'll be more into it. <laughs> the, young, more the young lady thinks it's hot in this gym for some reason. Aeropostale, proud sponsor of the MVC. Of course, we don't at all. Aeropostale, proud sponsor to the MVC Games of the Week. A-E-R-O-P-O-S-T-A-L-E.com for inspired clothes for guys and girls. Timeout taken off the inbound. Great, good pressure twice in a row now Southern's had trouble getting the ball in and one time was a turnover and then this time they have to use the timeout and that's uh, it's not fun and we're going to step aside as well 15 37 to go in our second half 30 27 Salukis have led from the opening tip well coach we talked about the bench scoring being a factor in this game in favor of Drake 14 to 4 only four points off the bench this afternoon for Southern Illinois. They lead it by three. 
And nearly another turnover on yep. the inbound. They changed and went to the line that time. And I almost said, you know, you work on all these out of bounds plays. Sometimes you have to just draw something up like here's a line. Get open. Tatum is open off the inbound. It's a pick from Warren. Right side, Young the three, no good. And it's pulled away by Drake. Heemskirk pulled it away. The rebound, his third this afternoon. Southern settled for a three again. And yep. that was one of the things that they said they didn't want to do. They wanted to at least try to get the thing inside. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Off a of pick, this is Brooks. Matched up with Darren Brooks. On the baseline, blocked by Brooks, but they're going to call him for the foul. Well, this is one of the ball games right here now you start worrying about when the game gets like this. Here's your penetration and making someone help, then you drive it at the goal. That's about to ask you, do you feel the momentum starting to change a little bit in this game? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I, yeah. I see a lot of frustration in, exactly. uh, in Southern because on the, when they're on defense, they're forced to chase people around and somebody dribble penetrates. Then bringing the ball up the floor, you have to use time. It's not any fun right now. The game's fun when you can flow. There's not enough flow in the game. Great coming off a overtime win. You see 9 of 10 in OT Thursday at Indiana State. 80% from the line are the Bulldogs this year. And in that game, Drake, by the way, shot 69%. 69% from the floor. And look at this. Here you're, you're in a position where you can cut the lead to one. You missed two free throws. And this is a great free throw shooting team, Drake. I mean, they need to get to the free throw line. Here's Tim. Tatum at the head of the key. Balker is working inside as they try nice. to get it into him, and they finally do, and he can't convert it, but then gets his own rebound back. Padney stacks. <laughs> that way he gets an offensive rebound. He's going to be good. He is going to be good, and he's a presence in there. He gives them something to look at. When you look inside, you see somebody can catch the ball. Under 15 to play. In the lane. Good dish inside, but a travel on Keita. It's happened to Keita twice. There's been good dribble penetration and interior passing, and Keita just gets a little excited. Good penetration there by Nick Grant. Well, that's one thing that Drake is doing. Their dribbling is going towards the basket. It's, it's an offensive dribble. A lot of Southerns has been penetration. Young pulls up from the elbow. Good shot. He's done that twice now. People haven't picked him up. I started to say that Southerns has been floating more with their, with their dribbling. That'll be a foul on Jamal Tatum. Southern Illinois on a 6-0 run. It's now back up to a 34-27 lead with 13.52 to play. Well, the fans don't like that, but we mentioned it earlier, Danny. That's a that's point of emphasis. If someone's dribbling the basketball, you can't have hand contact with them. Ooh. Slipping. Not Tatum and the numbers. Great numbers. Pearson can't complete it. Pulled away by Lonnie Randolph and a foul by Falker. Wow. Does that hurt? That's the type thing. There's almost the start of a good run for Southern. You get the ball and you have a great play made by the man with the ball. There's the slip. Here's a very unselfish play. This is simple, isn't it? And then the ball doesn't just doesn't go in the basket. Brooks will have a seat for Southern Illinois. 34-27, team fouls, Southern Illinois with six already here in our second half. That could be a key as we talked about how well Drake shoots free throws. If you're Drake, that's that's a big thing because that's one way they can score the basket. Korver off a pick, they don't give it to him. It's Brooks and a travel. Just going a little bit too fast against the defense. Ugly right now on both sides. Not a lot of flow to the uh, start of the second half. Hairston through the double team to Tatum across the timeline. 
Right there, Coach. It took him 12 seconds to get it across. And now we're out on the perimeter. This has been the thing. There hasn't been much going towards the interior. Everything stayed on the perimeter. If someone fills the high post, invariably they get it down low or penetrate like that. Hairston penetrates, but no good. Randolph wants to push. He does to Brooks. Corver for three. He was fouled, and he will go to the line and shoot three. Well, this is a, you never foul. I say never. You never, you never want to foul a three-point shooter, and Corver is a very good one. He gets hit pretty good right there. I could call that one. That was Hairston whistled for the foul. Now that was seven, 17 fouls against Southern Illinois. Well, Hairston just had the penetration of the basket and missed the layup. A little bit of frustration sets in when things like that happen. Two free throws with no time left in their win against Indiana State. So this young man is used to some pressure spots. I like his game. The thing that I like about him, he can dribble it a little bit. He can post and do some things. And he's very unselfish. He has not let the fact that he isn't getting open looks bother him. He just keeps playing. Here's to the seat now for Southern Illinois. Chance to cut the lead to four. Falker picks up the miss. Corver two of three. Tatum to Falker stepping in the lane. Good recognition by Falker then not to try to do something that wasn't there. Dale. Yes. That's what I like right there. When someone comes to the high post and catches. Tatum elevates for the shot. No good. Sean Brooks in the front court. Gets it stripped by who else? The double dribble back to Drake. Quick hands down there by Young. Drake's still present. That's the thing. You can call a roll, and they're still here. Five-point game with uh, at the 12-minute mark now, and the ball. 34-29, 12:05 to play. Randolph gives it off to Sean Brooks. Randolph from the free throw line, a little short with that. Tatum the miss. Had a great shot off the curl. Almost a steal by Randolph, but we'll go the other way. One of the top defenders in the NBC, Lonnie Randolph. And it's back to the Bulldogs. We step aside once again. 11.52 to go, and it's 34-29. Back at SIU Arena, Dan McLaughlin, Charlie Spoonauer, 34-29. Southern Illinois, they have led from the opening tip. Just underway, Evansville and SMS, 11-7. In favor of Evansville, Indiana State Bradley a little later tonight. Well, scores brought to you by Nestle Farina. Farina dog food, incredible dog food, incredible dogs. Illinois State, you and I tomorrow will be uh, at Northern Iowa and Manhattan and Wichita State will hook up. Wichita State off to a very good start at 9-0. A lot of people believe they could win this conference. Well, whoever wins it's going to have to have some tough road games. That's going to be the main thing. Tracy penetrating, looking for help. Has it. Eggers eyes it up and drains the three-pointer. That's big. Dribble penetration and then toss back. Two-point lead. Crowd is trying anyway to get into this game. There's, there's just not enough runs to, to really get in. There's a run for Drake on a 5-0 run. Inside to Warren. The senior missed it. And it's pulled away by Alou Kida. Drake a chance to tie or take the lead for the first time this afternoon. Eggers out of control a little bit. Tip back up. No good. Hit out of bounds. And it's back to Southern Illinois. If you're Tom Davis right now and you see yourself two down, you almost know something bad's going to happen. Because they've had, uh, I think that's the third opportunity to either tie or take the lead. Right. A little work on the floor. Some bodies were down there. And it is hot. And I mean, it is really warm inside this arena today. Unseasonably uh, warm temperatures here in Southern Illinois. 
Dan McLaughlin, Charlie Spoonhauer, Drake in Southern Illinois, Missouri Valley Conference, Game of the Week, brought to you by State Farm. Our Metro Sports crew as well, doing a great job as always. Mike Dale in the front court for the Salukis. But there's no chance to go score a basket. There's been one basket made against this press that I can recall. Brooks has been held in check, only seven points so far, the reigning player of the year. We'll try a three, eyes it up, and knocks it down. Got a wide open look right there. That's one of the few times that the defense has broken down like that. 37-32, Salukis. Now the Salukis are going to be forced to guard for probably 20 or 25 seconds, and that takes away the momentum. Lonnie Randolph looking for help. We are down to 10 on the shot clock, just over 10 minutes to play. Push off, no call. Tracy inside, off the glass, no good. The put back up and in by Alukita. The reason that happens, Dan, and it's, it's obvious, you have to help on the dribble penetration, then you lose contact with your own man to screen off. Here's Dale penetrating to Warren from 10 feet, yes. Josh Warren, young man from Washington, Missouri. Been around a long time in this program. Game was a little more up and down right now, and I think Southern would probably like that. Kita couldn't handle it. Now they've got some numbers. Dale. Brooks. He finishes. I believe I'd throw it to Brooks. Yes. Because you know he's going to finish it for you. Now this crowd is in it. Quick hands by Brooks and knocks it out of bounds. That's the second time that there's been a really good overplay on the pass from the big man down to the wing. I like that part. I thought Dr. Tom Davis might take a timeout, maybe take this crowd out of it, and he will with 9.17 to play. Brooks now with 12. All of a sudden, you look up, he's got 12. He's your leading scorer. Five of seven shooting for the player of the year. 41-34, Southern Illinois. Our score, 41 to 34, 9.17 to play. Time now for this date in history, brought to you by the Renaissance Grand Hotel of St. Louis. Take you back to 1956, led by all-conference performer Bill Heaven, the Titans of Detroit, members of the Valley. In 49 to 57, made a conference record, 46 free throws, and a win over Bradley in Peoria. That's brought to you by the Renaissance Grand Hotel of St. Louis. That's a travel, and it's back to the Salukis. And number one caused that. When Eggers tried to go, he just, he's, he's all over him, and then he uses his body and bumps him, and he, and he stumbles. Last nine possessions for Drake, they've committed six turnovers and missed four free throws. But yet, they're still in this game. They're still in the game, and I think the reason standing over there, that, that white-haired gentleman, mm -hmm. just like the timeout he used a moment ago to slow things down, get the crowd out of it, he's, he's got an idea what he's doing. Walker looking for help. Hairston for three. No, off the front iron. Corver's got it, and a foul against Stetson Hairston. And that's going to put Corver on the line, and that's not where you want him. Nope. Of course, I don't think you want any of these Drake players going to the line. Other than maybe Keita. You know, Drake is yet to commit a foul here in the second half. That's eight team fouls against Southern Illinois, so Corber goes to the line. It's a little unusual for a team that, that uses pressure and double teams yeah. and traps and, and is very aggressive going at the going at the glass. You think maybe they'll get a charge at least. 41-34, Corber to the line. Clayton Corver with seven points today. Make it eight with 8.35 to go. He's been dancing with Mr. Brooks, and that's, uh, that's a pretty busy dance card. Brooks with the basketball for the Salukis. Again, the last time Southern Illinois lost a home conference game, you have to go back a long way, February 24th of 2001 against Evansville. Falter inside the freshman, no. And finally a foul on Pete Eggers. <laughs> and listen to the crowd. 
We're going to get a standing ovation for someone. I guess that, is that Christman that called that, Dan? <laughs> yeah. He's well received here over the holidays. Uh huh. Here's trouble, the out of bounds play again. They've really struggled there. There's not a chance to score. It's just almost like if you're uh, Southern Illinois, you're just tickled death. You get a ball in bounds. Tough shot. Won't go. Oh. Hofer. Oh, my. no. They're going to say it was on the rim. No basket. Well, this is going to be an interesting. We're staying on this end of the floor. I don't I'm I'm sure maybe we'll see it on the replay here in a second. I just see a big hand tapping that thing in. That Apparently tip is some, good. Yeah, somebody bu well someone bumped him on the floor. They call that. There's another foul against Drake. So just like that they picked up three in uh, one possession for Southern Illinois. That'll go against Nick Grant. Well, once they figured out how to get it now they've got three of them. Yep. And again here's the problem getting the ball in bounds. They get it to Brooks. This is Tony Young. Inside it goes, and it's back to Drake. Under eight minutes to play. They just keep hanging around in this ball game. Down by five. Loose basketball. Back to the Salukis. Back to Drake. Fans want a foul, and it will be a foul, but it's going to go against the Salukis. It's an excellent play by Young at the beginning of the thing. Tips the ball loose. Then I believe Hairston picks it up, tries to advance it up the floor, but the defense takes it back for Drake, and there's no run out. They lead it by five, but a frustrating afternoon for Southern Illinois. 7.34 to go. Well, we've talked about this conference home winning streak of Southern Illinois. They lead it 41-36. They have 16 straight overall here at home, which is the eighth longest currently in the country. Wisconsin has the longest streak at home out of the uh, Big Ten 36 wins currently but Southern Illinois is 47 and one in the last 48 games here at home and that's what we we're talking about earlier coach uh, some of the best uh, we've ever seen in the Valley being done right now. There's no question about that and it's it's going to be hard to continue the thing with the depth that's in the Valley this year that's yep. the whole thing. John Brooks at the line out of San Antonio, Texas. There's Hairston on the bench now with the four fouls. He's the only Saluki, really the only player in foul trouble. For either side. Brooks hits them both. A game like 38. This, excuse me, Danny. A game like this, if you're Southern Illinois, you feel like you're running uphill, like the court's tilted. Yeah. Frustrating for the players, the fans right now, because Drake has, has made this ugly. They've mucked it up. That's what they had to do if they had any chance in this game. Walker's got it. Brooks for three. No good. And it's pulled away by Heemskirk. And again, a three pointer could tie it up. Wow, that's a strong move inside by Josh Pyle, the junior. One point lead for the Salukis. And now there's some noise both ways. The Drake bench is all up. They're excited. Now they're thinking maybe we can win this thing. Sure. Just like Dr. Tom Davis said, why not us before the game? They're not looking at us. Ward inside the arc. That's the last guy you expect to hit that shot. And that's a big one for Southern Illinois. But again, they settle for a perimeter shot rather than getting into the gaps. And I'm sure that Coach Lowry's going to, he'll be able to correct that when he gets to practice, but uh, it's hard to do during the game. Teams Kirk with the basketball for the Bulldogs. Now to Grant. Matched up with Tony Young. Southern is doing very well defensively. The thing that happens, you have to cover for the whole clock. Two on the shot clock. They let it fly, and they drain it. Brooks again. And that is one of those, as they say, daggers. Oh, guard for the whole clock and still have a hand in the guy's face, and he hits the basket. Coach, is it in the back of your mind, if you're Southern Illinois, what's on 
a tap right now with the streak and what they've got going at home. Is it in the coaches' mind, the players' minds right now? I think everyone has a has a feeling for it. If you the things you read in the paper and everything, it's a, a feeling of the crowd and, and being a little bit invincible here. Young inside the arc, no good. Hawker, big rebound inside and a foul against the Drake Bulldogs and. Uh, you know, you open up your Sunday uh, paper here in town. Huge article talking about their dominance here at home. Well, it's something you can't ignore. I mean, it's wonderful what, yeah. the, what Southern Illinois has done. They have just had a, just a great run for the three years. It's just amazing. 43-42, Southern Illinois has led from the opening tip. There's almost no thought of scoring on the out of bounds play, which is a good place to score. Warren pops to the elbow. Yes. And again, a flash to the high post. He looked down, had the jumper, and took it. That's a big shot. 45 42. Under five minutes to play. Corver will check back in momentarily for the Bulldogs. And a timeout taken by Drake. Tom Davis wants a 30. Good time out by Tom Davis because he needs he needs uh, Corver back in this ball game. There's, uh, there's no question about that. He need to have him in. This is this is exactly the kind of game we've been through this, but the, the Drake needed. They needed a game where they where they made frustration show, and I think it's been pretty evident that the Salukis have been fairly frustrated by both the offense and the defense of Drake. Look at that. The most wins the last four seasons. Southern Illinois and some pretty good company. When you talk about Pitt, Duke, UConn, the national champs, Illinois number one this year, Kansas number two, Gonzaga just knocked off Oklahoma State. Kentucky, Syracuse, always very good. Oklahoma out of the uh, Big 12, outstanding as well. And right smack dab in the middle of things, Southern Illinois. I'm sure Chris Lowry's thinking, I know what I would do if I were playing, because I can think of at least twice he beat our team that I was coaching. <laughs> very good player, then came back as an assistant, now the head coach. Well, he's got some assistants could make baskets too. Absolutely. Here's Corver guarded by Owen. Corver fell Corver. on his knee and he travels. Defensive pressure picked up that time. I, I think it's been good all day, but I think they finally uh, they probably said over there we need to we need to do something a little better even than what we're doing. Brooks will inbound, gets it to Owen. Under four and a half to play. Big possession here. Every possession is going to be big now, and you're going to have to get good shots. That's that's the thing that's important. Good shots. Or get to the free throw line if you're Drake. That's a, that's something right now that's very much in their favor. Tatum picks up his dribble. Ten on the shot clock. Brooks in the corner. The player of the year. Young is there. Gives it up. Tatum for three. No good. Corver picks up the miss. Boy, that's a big, big miss. He had a good look. Yes, he did. Tracy now for Drake. Knocked out of bounds. I, I think the thing you'll see, though, like the last possession for Southern, nothing going towards the basket. They settled for the perimeter. 3.49 to go. Can Southern hold on? The preseason favor to win the conference. Back with more in just a moment. 3.49 to go, second half, Dan McLaughlin, Charlie Spoonhour, 45-42, our game reset. Here you see the timeouts in the foul situation, possession arrow in favor of the Salukis, but uh, the fouls, boy, that is big right there, Coach. It's big because it'll be two shots, although as well as Drake shoots them, one-on-ones don't seem to scare them. Inside to the big man off the inbound and Keita got it partially blocked. Not a, not exactly the shot I'm sure that uh, Tom Davis was looking for there, although it was on the interior. You and I were talking in our commercial break. This is a preview of things to come here in the Valley. I don't think there's any question. There's going to be a ton of games like this, and it's going to be whoever is mentally tough enough to win these things. Lower tier teams from last year, a team like Drake, much better this year. Southern stays very, very good. Young for three. No. Drake has got it. 
Drake's done a nice job on the board. They're not as big, but they've done a fine job fighting the board. Southern Illinois has struggled from three-point territory, four of 16, and they're shooting under 40% overall here at home. People tune in right now, say 45-42. That's a pretty good half. Yeah. Inside to the big man and another travel. How many times has that happened to Keita? At least That's three. three or four. I know. We got a game that's a three-point ball game under three minutes, and you got the ball three feet from the goal, and, and Walken's called. Of course, Keita is, I think, frustration would be a pretty good name. Yep. Approaching two and a half to play from SIU Arena. Brooks gets a pick inside the arc. No good. They've had open looks. Oh, there's an open look there, and every time they've set the high screen, Brooks has either got to the basket or he's had a shot like that. Drake needs a bucket. The quick hands, though, by Brooks, the defensive player of the year. It's hit out of bounds. It's going to be Drake basketball. Great effort, though, by both sides, Brooks and Brooks. A lot of respect between the two teams, I think you can see. Good effort, good hustle right there. People helping each other up. They play hard, knock each other down, but then they're at least nice enough to help each other up. 6,619 here today. Very, very good crowd once again. Well, we're back to a point again where a three ties the game, and this is where Drake has been unable to to make the big step. This is Corver to Brooks inside, and he couldn't finish it. Now the Saluki's the other way. They've got some numbers. Oh, and inside off the glass, it's back to a five-point lead. Under two minutes to go. Huge play right there. A transition basket, which have been few and far between today for either team. Eggers looking for Corver, trying to get it to him. Now it's Lonnie Randolph. Randolph penetrating. Great feed inside and a chance at a three-point play for Keita. How about the penetration, though, by Lonnie Randolph? Well, there you are. There's your dribble penetration. This was a point where right at this point, you think Drake is just in a little bit of a panic mode. You see a great dribble penetration. There's your help. Keita finally gets a basket and doesn't get doesn't have walking call. He's got a that's got to be a huge sigh of relief for him. Keita with six. He's perfect from the line today. Two of two. He could cut it to two. Everything but in a whistle and a lane violation against the Salukis. Well, he's got that odd way of shooting it, and guys are trying to get that jump start in there. And Keita catches a break. That was not a pretty looking shot, but. Wow. That one rattles in, and it's a two point lead for Southern Illinois. All right, now. Drake's going to take a timeout. We're going to talk about the press that they come out in will be the one that Tom Davis has found has been the more, the more effective of his two or three that he's run. So that'll be interesting. And also, he's going to have an idea who he wants in the game. And for Southern, pressure's on now. Yeah, absolutely, with a two-point lead and 139 to go. Let's take a look at the State Farm players of the game, and we'll start with the Drake Bulldogs. A very, very good effort from this young man. A lot of good things to come from Clayton Corver, only a sophomore. Well, he's he's had a day where he's been chased by people, and he's played hard the whole ball game. He shot open shots that that didn't go, that normally would go for him. He's a really he's a nice player, and he's only going to get better. And on the other side for the Salukis, it'll be a, a guy that you don't really expect, and that's Josh Warren, the fifth-year senior out of Washington, Missouri. Six second half points, and those points really came at key spots in this game. And he's also been the man that's upsetting the high screens and getting Brooks loose for some shots, too. And he flashes the high post. He's had a pass that uh, went for a, a, almost a basket. I don't think it was finished, but it was at least the right place. We look across from where we're sitting, and the officials are looking at one of our monitors. I don't know, are you a big proponent of going to these monitors as much as we've seen maybe the last year and a half? I think the main idea is to get stuff right. I don't know. 
I guess they're checking the lane violation. You can see it down oh. there. And then time on the clock, that's another thing that they can check as well. I don't I didn't think they could go back and review a lane violation. It's like stepping on the stepping on out of bounds. I didn't think you could do that. So then it's probably time on the clock. I would guess time on the clock. Really, if you're if you're Drake, you kind of like this right here, because if you can get a stop, if you can get a stop right here or a steal and a basket, you're really getting this game the way you want it. Now, the thing you don't want to have happen is to give up the goal on the other end. They added one second, so it, it does. It, they have had one tick of the clock and uh, instead should be at uh, 140, which is what we've got. Fouls yep. right there, huge. Only four fouls, so Drake's got fouls to use. They can be really aggressive here and take chances that they normally couldn't do. Saluki's so lead it by two. Their home winning streak on the line. Have Sony. not lost a game in conference play at home since 2001. Can Drake pull off this upset? Under a minute and a half to play. Zone defense right here. Young penetrates to Tatum. Five on the shot clock. Tatum, he's got to let it fly. Leans in. He got Huge. it. Huge play. Great effort right there, but after picking up the ground ball, that was a, that was a yeah. tough pass to catch. Lonnie Randolph for Drake. Crowd on their feet. Corver for three. No good. Brooks pulls it down. Under 50 seconds to play. Going for the steal. And they're going to call a foul against Drake. The effort was there from Sean Tracy, but whistled for the foul with 43 seconds to play. The play on the other end by Drake was excellent because you've got a high you've got a high screen by Corver, then he rolls free, gets an open look, gets an open look. There we're, we're looking at the play right here. It's going to be, I guess, the final thing for the Salukis right here. Yeah, now there's the, the bad pass. Pick it up, and then and then clocks about over. Penetration into people. Nice play right there. And it's your Rawlings play of the game. Now, a timeout will be taken by Southern Illinois with 43 seconds to play. And, Coach, we were talking about it. They have really struggled not only just getting points off inbounds, but just getting the ball in. Well, there hasn't been. There's been one turnover on the pass. There's been two timeouts used, all because of, of the, of the out-of-bounds plays just not being able to work. And that's... That's something that's scary right here in this ball game. Nine and zero the last three seasons in conference play at home, and that streak is on the line here with 43 seconds to go and a lead of four for the Salukis. Well, if you can get the basketball in, ideally, you, you're going to be they're going to you're going to have to draw some fouls. I mean, there's going to have to be some chances taken by Drake. You want to run this clock down, and then you're in pretty good shape if you can run time off. If you can get the ball inbounds, that's the hard yeah. thing, is entering the ball. A 60 left for Southern, and 130 left for Drake. Timeout situation, as you saw in our game reset. We've seen as many formations as the Rams. <laughs> oh, and there's a hold right yeah. here. Eggers whistled for the foul, sixth team foul. If there hadn't been a hold there, that might have been a steal. And the sure. other thing you've got to think about, that anytime someone grasps a, a jersey, that can be called an intentional foul, which right. is something you really can't afford here if you're Drake. Off the inbound, comes into Young, and immediately he is fouled by Randolph. Well, Young's going to have to shoot free throws now. And that's yep. going to, and our well, all of all of the Salukis are going to have to shoot free throws. Now. Salukis are in the bonus, and uh, Tony Young has been outstanding from the free throw line. This is their best guy they can have at the line. 17 of 19 coming into a play this afternoon. 90 percent. Well, this one would have to be called a little bit of a pressure free throw right here. You hit two. And you're in really great shape. It turns it into a two possession game, obviously. Two threes. 42 seconds to go. Young at the line. Oh, doesn't get it. Corver picks up the rebound. This is Randolph. Randolph is trying to penetrate. He can't. Now to Brooks. To Bryant. Lost it. 
Randolph penetrates, looking for help. Fans wanted to walk. It's blocked out of bounds by Owen. 28 seconds to play. Defense that time was excellent by the Salukis. Just excellent. Corver will inbound. Randolph trying to step through. It's tied up. Possession arrow in favor of Southern Illinois. There was really nothing there. The thing you've got to understand, you've got a lot of time if you're Drake. You've got a lot of time, and all you need, you don't need a three. All you need is a, is a foul, draw a foul, or get at least get a good shot and then set your press and see what happens. John Tracy checks in for Drake. Southern Illinois trying to get it in. They're going to go for the home run pass to Owen. He's got it. Hands on it. Lays it up and in, and that could be the ball game right there. I would not. Still only a six-point game. Now you start thinking about either driving hard for the goal or you're going to shoot the three. Eggers shoots the three off the mark. The putback no good. Loose ball picked up by Tatum with 12.7 to play. The only bad thing about the three is if you miss it, the ball game's probably over. Well, Drake's got to be happy, extremely happy with their effort and the fact that they've made this such a good ball game. I mean, they're right in this thing in the last minute. I mean, that's huge. Yep. Confidence for your for your kids going into road play and conference play. Well, both teams can take this game and say, look, this if we do this, 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 and this, we're going to be we got a chance to be really pretty good. Tatum misses. Ooh. Two possessions, you look for three now. You've got to try to find a three. And Corver. Hurry up. There's Corver for three. Tatum has it. And the Salukis survive. Escape, survive. Any of those terms you want to use, but that's what this was today. Goodwin, 51-45 Southern Illinois over Drake. Goodwin. Oh, yeah. Southern Illinois has got to be tickled to death with this win because they caught they caught themselves in a ball game they didn't like. It wasn't any fun. The game was a struggle all the way. I'm telling you, tickled to death to get this win. We're back at it again tomorrow night. Illinois State at Northern Iowa will come your way at 7 o'clock on the NBC Television Network. For our Metro Sports crew and Charlie Spoonauer, I'm Dan McLaughlin. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you tomorrow night.